Being able to cheat death when our organs fail by having a transplant is one of the great achievements of modern medicine. Success. The kidney colors and swells as the patient's blood surges through it. I feel like I've been blessed with the opportunity to live a longer life. I've felt since my transplant absolutely wonderful. Yet it's been a long and bloody fight for surgeons who faced ethical hurdles to revive the living with organs culled from the dead. I wonder what the fury of him would be at the notion that our bodies are collections of spare parts. And also for the patients willing to gamble and endure almost anything in their bid for a longer life. Somebody has to find out how it goes. If the ship's sinking and this is the last life we have to get on. And the two patients, what happened to them? They died. For the last 45 years, Horizon and the BBC have charted the progress of surgeons whose desire to break new ground drove them to glory and disaster. Cardiac surgeons who knew absolutely nothing about transplantation wanted to show that they also could transplant the heart with a 100% mortality. Despite early failures, surgeons have largely succeeded in their attempts to harvest the body. Now, the challenge of organ shortage is driving science in ever stranger directions. How far could and should we go in our bid to prolong life? When I was a medical student, things like kidney transplants were relatively commonplace. But in the 25 years since then, I have seen some truly remarkable and occasionally disturbing breakthroughs. Most recently, the transplantation of a whole human face. I've come to Boston, to the Brigham and Women's Hospital, to meet one of the world's leading face transplant surgeons, Dr. Bodden Pomahawk. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, how are you? Hi, Michael Mosley. Oh, that's Good-looking boy, isn't he? He was, yeah, until he stepped on that live wire about 10 years ago. Mitch Hunter was just 20 years old when his car crashed into a pole containing a 10,000-volt electrical cable. The injuries to his face were horrendous. Ooh, I heard in ah. 